Forgiveness restores relationships. Reading from scripture, Matthew chapter 5, verses 23 and 24. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First, be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. There are times when we are confronted by people who repeatedly hurt us. When all the while we know that it is our duty to forgive, we are filled with those feelings of mistrust and anger. This often leads to a broken relationship. When we refuse to forgive, we not only hurt ourselves, but we also hurt our relationships. In the scripture verse for today, Jesus tells us that if we are going to worship and we suddenly remember that we have something against a brother. Jesus tells us to not proceed, but instead go back and reconcile with your brother. What Jesus is saying is that reconciliation of relationships is a priority. Before you go to God, you need to restore your relationship with your brother. Before you can serve God, also you must reconcile with your, with your brother. The story of Jacob and Esau is an excellent illustration of the way forgiveness brings about reconciliation and restores a fractured relationship. Jacob had patently wronged his brother by first of all taking away his birthright and then stealing his blessing. Jacob was so guilty that he fled for his life. Years later, Esau embraces Jacob with no resentment and reservation. Once Esau had forgiven Jacob, he no longer demanded a repayment or even a restitution. In fact, we see the way Esau had brought gifts for Jacob. By setting Jacob free through the forgiveness Esau extended, this relationship was once again restored. What a wonderful story. Nothing promotes a reunion of a broken relationship the way that forgiveness does. When we choose to forgive someone, we indicate that the relationship or the person is far greater than the offense itself. So what does it do? It removes the guilt and shame that the offender carries and replaces it by a value and a genuine desire to re-establish that relationship. God is pleased when we live in harmony with our brothers and also He is glorified when we forgive as He forgave us. Extending forgiveness to a family member keeps the family functional and intact. Choosing to forgive a partner in marriage keeps the union intact and brings them together as one. And showing mercy to a friend builds that relationship further in trust and love. So let us look at restoring our relationships by extending forgiveness just the way Jesus did. Because God forgave us by nailing our sins on the cross that Jesus bore. And by doing so, Jesus reunited us back with God the Heavenly Father so that our relationship with God could be restored. Let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for teaching us to forgive. Thank you for making relationships a priority in your scheme of things. Help us to understand that when we forgive, we not only value and we cherish the person who offended us, but we also glorify you. Thank you for showing us the way when you bore our sins on the cross and for reuniting us back with a, into a personal relationship with God the Father. Teach us to always have a forgiving spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.